Athlete HQ. I'm here to take you through how to use the hip circle. So I was first exposed to this form of kind of band and more importantly, uh, how I used this deal for rehabbing of my knee uh, probably over 10 years ago uh, while I was playing the NFL. So I had a knee injury and big problem came from weak glute. So a big part of my rehab was using a band around the legs. Uh, at the time they were really kind of crappy elastic bands and then Mark Bill stole my idea to come out with an amazing, usable, awesome hip circle. So I'm going to show you guys how to use it today, but not only for uh, offensive linemen for football, but also knee injuries and how to strengthen your glutes and more importantly universally for athletes. If I were to say to you, show me a good athletic position, what would that look like? All right. So I didn't even have to coach him. I just had to tell him, get in a good athletic position, hold that athletic position. So if he's in this position, what sport is he ready to play? He could be a linebacker, he could be a running back, he could be an offensive line waiting for a set. If he brought his hands up to the side, he could be like a batter. So he'd rise up a little bit, so there. Uh, tennis, what else? You give me something. Everything there, he's in a good position. If you notice, his knees are actually parallel to his toes. If I draw up a plumb line, his hips are behind him, his chest is over his knees. He's got a good position, his butt's behind him. So the key you also notice, as he gets into his good athletic position, he can do it with me. If I were to drop a plumb line, his knee is on his instep. So this is our universal athletic position. Every football player knows that this is a good position because this is the one where you can defend yourself if a guy came into you. If I pass rushed, everything I need to do is here. So this is our good athletic position. Now everything we do with movement with our training is about challenging a universal athletic position. He can take this band and put it around the base of his knees. Good. He can take his foot and get into a, a good position, feet shoulder width apart, good. From this position, he can push his hips back and get into a good athletic position. Now what is the band doing? It's pulling his knees together, which is forcing him to do what? Drive his knees out. And so when he drives his knees out a little bit, what did that do? What did that feel? Did you feel that activate your glutes? Glutes. Yeah. All of a sudden it lights his butt up. So we have a couple movements that we're going to do to challenge his athletic position. The first one, we're going to call the Charleston. So if he's facing me, he's gonna let his knee drop as far as he can in, and then he's gonna drive it out way past where he thinks it's gonna go, good. And then he's gonna drop the other one, and then drive it out as hard as he can, good. Every time, making sure. Now here's the tricker, I'm not looking, the one that's moving isn't the one I'm focusing on. So what he's asking to do is, by me dropping this, I'm challenging this good knee. So as I drop it, I have to keep this one stable, and as I pull this one out, I'm making sure to flex here. So really the dropping the knee isn't the one I'm focusing on, the stable knee that I'm always maintaining this. So give me 10 on each side, good. You're gonna see people, as they kinda of get tired, they're gonna start rising up. I want them to keep, stay low. I want them to keep in a good athletic position, good. We're really working on that internal external rotation of the hip. Good, awesome. So from here, we're gonna challenge it now. We've done it stable, but now he's gonna take a few steps back. Good. And I know you've done this if you're an offensive lineman, we're just gonna do some really easy duck walks. All right, the reason they call it duck walks is, is I wanna have my toes, ducks are here. It's a stupid name, it should be called penguin walks or pigeon toed walks, whatever you wanna call it. So from this athletic position, he's gonna take a step. He's gonna step and he's gonna step. And he's gonna imagine that his feet are on rails. And as his feet are on rails, the band is gonna naturally get him to pull in. But he's not gonna let that happen. He's gonna protect his athletic position. And what do they call that? Protect your base. Base is support. Offensive line coaches will always say what? Protect your base. Keep a wide base. Keep your base of support. Because if you bring your feet together, you can't punch and you can't do anything anymore. So from this position, he'll take a step. Bring out, pushing, pushing. The knees aren't him. See how his feet are coming together? You see how he's duck footed? Every time I want those feet to come straight, straight. Drive out, out, drive out. Don't let them come out. From this position, if we're going forward, we gotta do it backwards. An offensive lineman, you spent half of your life, maybe even more, going backwards. So as you go past pro, what's the worst thing? And what do they say? Don't step in the bucket. You've had to heard that as a tackle? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What is stepping in the bucket? When you set back, all of a sudden you cross and you turn, you give a soft corner. So what we're gonna ask him to do is make the pocket deep, which is the job of a tackle. Guards make it wide, tackles make it deep. So all I want you to do is, from this position, I want you to take a step, bring it back. Step, back, step, back. Just like you're kick-stepping. Little bit bigger, see how that toe's coming out? Stop, stop. See how you got duck footing on me? Yeah. All I want you to do is rotate this out, 
and I want you to keep that position the whole way. And I got another drill for that one. Don't let that toe come out. Reach with the heel. There you go. Good. Better. Good. So if you noticed our amigo was trying to get his foot out a little bit this way. That's a bad position for an offensive lineman. So now we're going to work on correcting. All I want to do is a lateral shuffle. So as we're here and we're in a good athletic position, knees are here, toes are on the instep. All I want to do is take three to four inch step with the right, three to four inch step with the left. Just like the deal, like the step drag drill. Yeah. Cool. So from this, as I step, if you notice, I'm stepping and leading with my heel. I'm not here. I'm, if anything, I'm pigeon toed here and I'm stepping with that heel. Step, step, step. If you notice, Mark, when he has a lot of people do it, they're really tall, right? This position is not an athletic position, so we're gonna ask you guys to get into our universal athletic position. He's gonna step, step, slow down. Two distinct steps, one, two, good. Bend your knees, bend your knees, good. All right, stop, stop. You see how all of a sudden his knee collapses here? So what I want you to do is drive that knee, yes. Right there, hold that position. So all we're doing, and then I want you to lead with that heel. Don't let it, keep driving, keep pushing, push. There you go, stop, good. So he's here, I need him to be here. So if you notice, I can put my hand here, turn your toe back out, and I can feel here, now turn it back, and I can feel his glute fire. A lot of these drills came out of it, but it's just basically challenging that good athletic position, everything we can do with the movement. So that first one was the Charleston, and then we go front and back, and now we go side to side lateral. So show me uh, like you would, like you were gonna barbell back squat. Like a heavy bars in your back. You, know, you can even put your hands up in front of you like you're just gonna do a cool air squat. Good, I want you to sit back just a little bit more. So what the band is really forcing his knees, good, forcing his knees in, and he's gonna drive those suckers out a little bit, out, out a little, little bit, perfect. Right in that position, which is gonna help him open his hips and then stand back up, just give me 10 of them. Stand up, pause. Now you see what he's doing with his toes? How all of a sudden one's moving out? I don't ever want to move the toe. I just want to move the heel out to meet it. So you remember, the best athletes in the world, slightly pigeon-toed, bow-legged. Worst athletes in the world, duck-footed, knock-kneed. So the guys that are duck-footed, knock-kneed, don't play in the NFL. The guys that are pigeon-toed and bow-legged run like four twos. And the reason being is you can talk to Kelly Starrett about internal hip torque and all that other good stuff with angles. You watch the guys that are a little bit bow-legged, always way more explosive, and that's because it's creating internal hip torque. So the last thing we would ever want to do is train somebody to have their knees in a bad position. So, hip circle. Mark Bell stole it from me. You heard it here first. And uh, just showing you how to do these. Awesome. Thank you.